All right, so if if you were not so aware and you saw that clip and then you were told that that is um, a group of Labour Party officials, right? You would think that the tribunal has given judgment and then it has declared Peter Abi the winner of the election or in worst case scenario, um, the election that Anne conducted has flawed and um, cancelled it or annulled it, so to speak. You would not have known that it is um a faction of the party so to speak celebrating a victory um at the court in, in their own words that they are they are not the authentic um owners or leaders of the liberal party to make the matters worse i'll allow you to see the uh, the clip the embarrassing nauseating demeaning dehumanizing disgraceful shameful um, video uh, or clip of uh, the said acting chairman, factional acting chairman of the Labour Party, La Media Papa. Uh, I'll let you see the video and then we'll come back. See, the acting national chairman of the party was in court, Alaji Bashiru Apapa Lamidi. And uh, the court today pronounced very clearly that when a political party is in peace, they do not need the intervention of court. But once there is a crisis in the political party, a crack that makes it impossible, that makes the center no longer to hold, that invitation by any of the interested party for the court to intervene will be entertained by court. So contrary to their position that the court lacks jurisdiction to entertain the matter, contrary to their position that the matter is not justiciable, my Lord in infinite wisdom today said no, that the world cannot watch the party crumble without coming or stepping in to intervene. So today we thank the court most sincerely for dismissing the, the frivolous preliminary objection they brought to challenge the duration of the court. So that was what happened today and we are very happy, the party is happy and we wanted to go on with the case so that the, with the world we know who is the authentic chairman or leadership of the party. But they came up and said they were not ready. So we want the world to know that they are the ones that are not delaying the case it is not longer on our part because we wanted that matter to be determined urgently. But they said they were not ready. So, in order not for them to go back and begin to shout that the court shut them out, so we have to align to, with them today to say, well, let the court give them a date. And so the court has asked us to return back again on Friday next week. So, that is what transpired today. Monday Mawa for the for Labour Party. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Alaji Bashiru Lamidi Apapa. Yes. The acting national chairman of the Labour Party. Yes. I am so pleased that justice has taken place today. Because under normal circumstances, we begin to doubt. But today, we are happy that uh, the judge has acted uh, promptly and reasonably. Uh, there is no doubt that I am now in charge. It has, it has now been confirmed by the court that I have the right to be in charge until another order is taking place. As of today, I am the chairman, acting chairman of the party and anybody who parades himself, apart from myself, is acting legally. And I want to tell the whole world that come next Friday, the real suit will start when the issue of a forgery, conspiracy, and so on and so forth will we, we, we commence. And from there, we know if actually that offense has been committed or not. I want to use this opportunity again to tell the whole world that the tribunal that is going on, I want to invite all the lawyers that are in charge, that are representing the Labour Party, that they should come for briefing. They should come and give me updates of what is happening in that tribunal within the next 48 hours. Because right now, 
I'm the person on the driver's seat and I'm fully in charge. I'm giving this support for them to know that this is the order. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> it's quite painful that we think that we are fighting uh, an easy fight. It's quite embarrassing that some Nigerians are yet to understand how much deep the war uh, is. It's a war, actually. It's a war. And no wonder um, people are not getting it. I don't know how. People that have that, that live their life only the resources, the blood, the veins, the soul, the spirit of this country. And they are going to wake up eight months, nine months, ten months, and they say you're going to take over the country for them. I don't expect them to fight. You are joking. That's it. That's what we just watched. And you think that for a man who's in the Labour Party, the main goal of an opposition party would be to displace him the central government. But no, a certain media papa thinks that fighting Bola Metinubu's mandate is unconstitutional and because of that, he cannot, he cannot accept it. He thinks that Peter B is fighting a battle that is not right. He thinks that the lawyers of the Labour Party and by extension, those that have been saddled with responsibility of going to gain back the mandate, they are fighting a lost battle. And he wants them to report back for briefing in his office. That is it. And it's painful that in spite of this, there are bloggers who are taking the glory of, of saying that they have labored for Peter B. Because of that, Peter B should come and see them or give them money. Or by extension, some of them are saying that the, the battle is... And it's painful for Nigerians who are giving attention to certain persons. I've said it before. The day I begin to go against the norms, values, and principles that have that is binding us together, the reason you are listening to me, please don't follow me. Painful. And there are people now who are now who have suddenly become authority, they have become influential, and they can tell you what to fight and what not to fight for. They can tell you to forget about a particular particular business, a particular interest, a particular passion. They are now becoming God suddenly because they are followers and they are making money. And some of you are giving them attention. You think this is a small fight? <laughs> we are in a, a situation of feudalism. We are fighting for our soul under duress. There is no freedom. There is no liber liberality. And that's why APC guns are the ones celebrating the supposed victory of our papa in court. APC. <laughs> As I talk to you, the PDP has got crisis so. There is a strong leadership crisis. The matter of the PDP national chairman is in court as I speak. But it doesn't break. It's not breaking news. It's the Labour Party crisis that is. Why? <laughs> Only ripe fruits attract stones. Oh, I write that down. Only ripe fruits attract stones. There is a problem. It is that Peter B won that election. They know that Peter B's government will spoil things for these guys. Everybody. I'm telling you, even PDP and APC, there is a, there is a a behind the scene connivance to ensuring that this this man, this mandate, this movement does this stand. <laughs> are you think? We are joking. We are fighting for the soul of this country. It's not a small fight. It's a, it's a battle. It's a war indeed. These guys know what they are up to. And that's why you cannot imagine a party man, a, a somebody in the PCC celebrating another party because you know why? You are choking them. They cannot look at Brits. So they are seeking for any way. They are entry agreement, entry engagement. I thought the wicked arrangement of wicked romance was enough. No. You now want to. And I've said it before in case you are not aware. The idea is very simple. And you have you heard now there is a court ruling that has given rise to, to the man. By the time Paula Metinubu become president, God forbid. Again, God forbid. Again, God forbid. God Almighty forbid that I become president. Is to empower the man with national security forces, police, DSS, to enforce his way to taking over the structure of the Labour Party. And from there, it will be the downgrading, the diminishing of the whole agenda. For a team, for a people that he said they are irrelevant, they are political naive, they do not have structure, they don't have systems. Why are all these fights? Obviously, if I have never been inspired, I should be because of this. 
it shows that I'm fighting the right cause. It's only when you are climbing the top of the hill that you have you go you have struggles. With. When you are climbing, when you are going up, when you are going, anything you are going down is really sweet. So anything you are doing that is sweet for you, you are going down. Anything you are doing that is too sweet, too easy, too convenient, effortlessly, you are going down. Whatever you are doing is giving you stress, burden, challenges, obstacles. You are doing the right. Give, stop giving attention to idiots. I've said it before, let's focus on the focus. Give attention to people that are parading themselves. Claim your sort. I see videos every day and I'm, I wish you understand the fight that we are fighting. And I've said this before, I keep saying it. This is never about Tabi. <laughs> But that means okay. You see the hotel dollar Lumelu story that you are reading. That's the class. That's where Peter B belongs. So we'll be discussing how to buy transcom, buy charity. That's his level. That's his level. I mean, that's the man's level. Discussing using money to buy a lot of and they don't they are now in, they, he will be he's, he will be immune against all this poverty crisis, all these things, famine. But the man has chosen to leave them. Did Tinubu not go and show them his... It means if Peter Bu was not running for president, if he had stayed back in business like all these guys, Tinubu would have gone to go and show him his certificate of return. But the man is saying no. It's for us, oh! It's for us. And I'm saying it. Peter Bu may not be the Messiah, but a man has shown, a man, the man has shown that we can take back this country and begin to decide who governs us. That, that is the goal. The Messianic agenda is not so that he's going to not turn Nigeria to Dubai, no. It's to collect power back and give it to Nigerians to decide what happens moving forward. If, if I will be president of this country like I passionately want to be, it's only a Peter B's government that can make that visible. Or oh God will. God forbid, sir. Tinubu. The man that left power since over 20 years ago as government, see, deciding who becomes counselor, who becomes a simple secretary in the ministry in Lagos. He see, decides that. You get appointment to Lagos without, without his signature. Who born you? Who do you be? How, who, who made you? Who grew you? That's how a city government was removed from office. Because he wasn't loyal to the God Master. And that, that one, that one that his son is going to become next governor. Go and watch. The Shehit Inubu no flag off to contest him for this, for governorship. You know, for now they do like, no, no, they read 2023. It was because his father was contesting. Saulu will hand over to him. Those of you clapping, I will see what you will benefit. We will say, let's do the right thing. If you like, don't. It's not by force you have campaigned. I'm not saying Peter B had all the solutions. But you see, if you think that this particular government that has left us with much more debt than the whole of, of Southern Africa has. Is Morocco not an African country? Go to some African country and you think that you're not in Africa. Look at, look at, oh God. Then, so you, it, it's clear. Stop, stop, stop going. To, I tell you not to stop going to some places and you think that maybe I'm trying to, it's fine. The war, this is a war. It's a war. A war for the battle of the soul of this country. And you're not doing Peter Bill. There is nothing that you are doing. As I do this job, I'm not doing, I'm doing, I'm fighting for the soul of this country that will, so that my children will not suffer what I have suffered. 